Hello folks, welcome back to MTG AI Tournaments. Today we're going to be continuing our MTG AI Professional Series with the Old School Draft, or not Draft, Old School Constructed Tournament uh, here on the channel. We have the last semi-finals match. Before we do the finals match, I'm going to upload this and the finals tonight. So this should be up uploaded pretty close uh, together. Um, so we have Bant Flyers versus White Go Wide. Now Bant Flyers... I'm not going to do a, really a deck tech because I've done that pretty much on all of the um, matches throughout the bracket of this deck, of course, as it has made it through them all. We have Birds of Paradise, Saren of Afrit, Azura Drake. Um, these two flyer flying creatures have been doing work. Of course, Sarah Angel as well. Cockatrice, I, don't, I think we've seen it played once. I'm not exactly sure. I know Arcades. Um, finish off the game last time. This was the uh, Trump card, I guess you could say. I kind of just won there. You have the Dijin, and then you have a good Esper control package here with uh, Mind Twist, Swords of Plowshares, Ancestral Recall, two Fell War Stones. Spirit Link has been great. Uh, let's put that on Flyers, uh, recoup some life. You have all of the Power Nine Moxen here. You have Regrowth, Demonic Tutor, Time Walk, Brain Geyser, Mana Drain, three Disenchants. Uh, this deck will, I guess, Mono White, I don't think it's going to do much. Maybe, actually, this could take out Crusade and such. So that's that's pretty good there. Uh, Armageddon, and then you have Moat. Which Moat completely annihilates them. So, yeah, you got three City of Brass, Library of Alexandria. Two Mistress Factory, a Plains, a Tundra, a Place at a Tropical Island, and Savannah, and then Strip Mine here. White Go Wide, pretty much your typical white aggro deck. You have a bunch of one drops. We have one mana, one one first strikers, one mana, one one javelineers that can remove a, the javelin counter on it to deal a damage to any target. You have uh, four Savannah Lions, two mana, one one, and two one. You have four Order of the Burn, two mana, two one, protection from black, and um, it can pump itself from first strike and such. You have three white knights, and then you have four Mesa Pegasus. I think all of the decks that Bant has played has been, or at least a few of them, um, have been, protection of black has come into play. Four Mesa Pegasus, so this is good with Crusade or with uh, the army, or yeah, so sure it's just a one-one flyer, but it can be very good. And you have two preacher, mox pearl, two swords of postures, two disenchants, four crusade, two army of Allah, two armageddon. Uh, a lot of armageddons here. Five copies out of all the decks. We have maze of ith. We have mistress factory, four of them, a strip mine, and then we have a ton of planes. We're going to jump right into the match. Okay, so uh, Bant Flyers is going first. We're going to see a Strip Mine and a Mox Ruby. Most likely a Felwar Stone and pass the turn. Turn down the volume here a little bit. Just so I don't have sound effects blowing up in my ears. We have Planes and a Savannah Lines or Tundra Rules. We're going to see Tundra Rules. Interesting. Down a little bit more. Uh, we have Mock Sapphire. So a lot of land here. Lots of land indeed. Probably gonna see a Swords of Poshares. Momentarily, I guess. And Order of Lever in the past turn. You're gonna see a Mana Drain is the draw. No second blue source. For either Mana Drain or Brain Geyser. Warrior Leap Bird's gonna attack, Swords of Pasha is gonna swords. Uh, also no green source for rebirth, so they really can't play anything in their hand at the moment. You can see Chapelinir and Savannah Lions. Mox Pearl is a white source, although they already have that with that. Uh, I want to take out real quick and strip mine that. Oh, okay. 
Army of Law, gonna trumpet blast effect that get in for a lot of damage there. Put putting the Bant Flyers that count as to um, thirteen, but they're gonna strip mine the Mistress Factory and play a City of Brass. Now they do have two blue, and they're gonna use that to uh, X is three draw three cards. There's a Sarah Angel, as well as a Demonic Tutor, which can probably get another Sarah Angel. I'm gonna put him down the 9, Jaguars, Tundra Wolves, and gotta be careful here, definitely wanna probably Sarah Angel. And City of Brass is dangerous at this stage of the game. They're not gonna attack at all, look at the Tundra Wolves, it's okay. There's an Armageddon, which actually might be kinda good here. Considering all this, um, we're gonna regrowth to get back a brain geyser. Pass the turn. Crusade is brutal, but you're gonna be able to disenchant that. It's not as brutal. Although uh, going wide, as the deck says, putting him down to three. Um. Give a Sarah Angel, because why not? But I think. Uh, Demonic Tutor for 3 drop creature. Give us Dijin. That's not gonna, it's not gonna be enough. Javelin Ears is just gonna move damage and end up killing them. So, Mono White Aggro, or White Go Wide as I called it, is going to take game 1 here. I'm lucky how strong the deck is. Uh, it very well could take the tournament. I could see them beating Arabian Aggro. Uh, either one of these matches will be really cool. Uh, Arabian Aggro versus Bant Flyers or Arabian Aggro versus Light Go Wide. Both matches are a nice finals I'd like to see. So, pretty cool there. We're going to see City of Brass, Mox Jet, and a Birds of Paradise as a start. Next turn, we're going to see a Plains and a. Javelin near or seven line, we'll see seven lines. So we're going for the aggressive start here. I think God they didn't put the spirit link on the birds. Crusade early is kinda of brutal. Hopefully they can draw a distant chance soon so they don't get run over. Source of Potters is a great uh draw there. Uh, personally I would have played Sarah Angel. The Order of Leap Burr, Javelin Ears. We're going to see a Savannah is the play. As well as a Sarah Angel. And the Spirit Link onto the Sarah Angel. That is very nice there. And Crusade does affect both sides of the battlefield, so this will make the Sarah Angel a 5 5 Flying Life Flank Vigilance. It's pretty strong nowadays. Javelin Ears is going to throw its Javelin through the bird. Makes sense. And we're going to see Order of Leap Burr and another Javelin Ears. Fast in the turn, we're going to see attack in for a lot of damage. Now this life gain is going to be pretty brutal as a swing. Army of Allah is kind of, kind of dangerous here though with what they have. Javelin Ears is going to take out the thing there. They can disenchant that spirit link. Let's see a regrowth here returning a birds. I would have turned. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. They're not going to destroy the spirit link, it doesn't look like. No. See, Tundra Rolls is the draw. No attack here. I'd assume next turn we will see an attack though with an army. Although there is a nice 2 4 flyer. Here, and they're getting dangerously low. Here. Armageddon is a card. They can't play it though. Yeah, they're not going to attack, and they're going to have almost lethal in the air. Just a chance going to take out that proceed crusade. You know, it does do less damage there, but still going to be lethal if they can't find a way to. to Destroy Sarah Angel. Mesa Pegasus can, Pegasus can uh, block the Sarah Angel. I can speak. 
Um, but Azur Drake is still enough damage in the air to most likely balance was pretty brutal but yeah most likely enough to win the game here and move us on to a game three always love a game three because that means that both decks have competition against each other and that's always good in an ai kind of league type uh, series we're doing so uh very interesting start here um a lot of two one drops and a three drop and then uh you know five mana on turn one but hey it is what it is let's see planes and a order of alert burn or mox pearl and order of elite burn we're gonna see a black lotus well, we can disenchant that Mox Pearl, but in this mana. Maybe not. Pet and Blacksmith. Uh, I'm not going to do anything here. Another sideboard for the mono white deck. That's not um, against a red deck. Hey, if they win and play this against Arabian Aggro, that can, that can block a Curd Ape. See a Birds of Paradise and pass the turn. Really would like a Sarah Angel right here. Just something to threaten bad blocks and also pressure. Uh, otherwise, there's a dud this turn. Pretty sure it's over. Oh, there's the Sarah Angel. Okay. Very nice. I'm gonna play that and Spirit Link. That is a lovely thing to see. Uh, Spirit Lake on a Sarah Angel is very good. Fisher's Factory. And I don't believe they're going to attack. No, they're not. We'll see an upkeep. We're going to see a Birds of Paradise. There's the draw. Attack there. Recoup some life. Spirit Lake has really been the MVP. Um, shockingly. Uh, kind of been the MVP of the Bant Flyers deck. Um, yeah, because they have five drop, four drop, you know, flyers. So once they get them out, put a spirit link on it. They can recoup all the life they lost. And yeah, it looks like they're just gonna be having that kind of that ground game that they can't really do much with. Spirit link's gonna keep getting in. They're gonna draw another one, two creature for two. Uh, which is going to get mana drained. Fair enough. Savannah is the draw. We're going to see Sarah Angel get in for another um, 4 damage. They really want to get a source of plow shares here for that. Um, like, next draw. They have 2 turns. So. Planes is not the source of plow shares. And they're going to pass the turn here. We see a Serend of a Free, no blue mana. Actually, yes, with Birds of Paradise, there is blue mana. So they need to remove this this turn, and that's just a planes. A little bit of a land flood there for the uh, white go white deck, and that is going to end up costing them the entire bracket. And we have our finals here with Bant Flyers versus Arabian Knights in the finals. This is going to be an exciting finals match. Um, I think I'm, I'm really excited for it. Uh, if we can do a little preview right now, I guess, since I'm not going to make a preview video. The Arabian Aggro deck um, has a 3-4 flyer. Uh, we have a 4-5 on the ground, 2-3. We got some bolts, we got some giant growth, some counter spells, some psionic blasts. These can take out Sarah Angels and such, and Azure Drakes. Time Walk is great. Uh, don't know what targets there are for Shatter. Maybe Felwar Stone. We have Regrowth, uh, as always. Yeah, and they got some Mistress Factories as well. 
versus, of course, the Bat Flyers deck, which I think is honestly the weaker deck here. Um, they can source the Posh Shares, either of their team or creatures. Moat can be very good if they draw it. But otherwise, I think that I'm going to put my bets on the Arabian Aggro deck to win the whole tournament. Not sure, but we'll see in the next match, and I'll see you guys next time.